I think that's that is so cool. And and I'm really curious about this concept of, you know, it's the idea of you are changing the world just by being there. Mm. Like that is so loaded. Like that are so much good juice in there. And I just want to understand if I if I'm in there by myself or like what were you thinking when you when you said that? Because yeah, what does it mean you being there? Because the whole idea of you being at the White House and noticing that no one looked like you or your family or didn't really seem to connect with the ideas and the things that were important to you and and the sense of agency to say, I got a big idea, right? Yeah. You know, what does that really mean? How do we tell parents what to tell their children what that means? Um. So your question made me think of I. I think in stories and I often like make, I do a lot of analogies um, and share stories to, to illustrate a point. Your question made me think of um, what it was like when I, and multiple different times in my life, when I got to law school, uh, when I got to the White House fellowship um, experience, I often felt like, oh, I'm like, I'm so lucky that I get to have this experience. Like I'm lucky they picked me for, you know, to get into this law school or to get into this um, fellowship program. And and then each time I, I learn over and over again that um, it's true. I have been very fortunate. Um, I have like, I, I, I get to have these experiences, whether it's serving in Congress, being a White House fellow, getting into law school. Um, I'm very fortunate, but also it's really important that people with the kind of experiences that we're talking about, uh, whether it's being raised by a single parent, um, you know, it took me eight years to get a bachelor's degree. It took me four years to get my associates and then four years to get my bachelor's degree. And uh, the really interesting thing about that and that I'm in Congress now is that that's actually not an uncommon experience. It's not uncommon for people to take longer than four years mm -hmm. to get a degree. Um, and, but, but the thing is people don't get to see that as often That's right. because those aren't always the stories that are getting shared widely. Um, and so when I, so when I was doing the White House Fellows Program, I was like, man, I'm so lucky to be here. But also it's really important that voices, not, not always exactly like mine, but that voices that are different than the other ones in the room are included. Um, so I think that's like, that's, that's kind of the, probably the crux of yeah, I, I'm just wondering no, then. That if, your question. <laughs> yeah, no, that's it. And and I think just to push at it a little bit more, the I so I think of it this way. I think like when I was thinking about even my daughter and, and kids in schools and especially in private schools, when they get a scholarship, oh, I'm so lucky to get it, right? But what they're not seeing is the value that you're bringing to that conversation. I mean, there's studies. I was just reading the Some of Us, the Heather McGee book, and she was talking a great deal about this idea that having a difference in the room, a different perspective and thought makes everybody think a bit harder. Like we all have to work harder then. And so yeah. that that difference there is huge. Like you more than paid for yourself being there because you showed up and the conversation got started, right? Like that concept. And I think that's one of the burdens sometimes people who are introduced into majority communities sort of miss out. The gift is you showing up because it's making it broader for everybody. So, I mean, that's that's sort of what I was reading into that. Mm -hmm. And I'm watching what you do and you do that, you know, in your day to day when we see you on TV, that's what's happening. So I, I thought that was just an amazing and a, and a beautiful thing.